friends, welcome to day 273 of Michelle Doesn't Put Makeup On and Doesn't Brush Her Hair. We're happy you could be here. We are Roots and Wales, and if you were following our vlog last week, you saw that we finally started framing all of our furniture in the van. We got the bed going behind me here, and we got the couch going, and last week we also started framing out the kitchen counter and the drawers and the cupboards. We are continuing with that, and uh, I'll show you where we're at right now, and let's go. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. This is where our couch is gonna be, as well as this side here. It hasn't been built yet, but this little space is also gonna be a couch. And then the big kahuna, the moment you've all been waiting for. Our kitchen counter. So obviously this is just the basic framing and the base and the start of the kitchen counter. Uh, so what we've done is we have, let's be honest, Sean has built it to fit the fridge, the stove, which is also the cooker, uh, drawers and cupboards, which he had pre-planned where we wanted them. And was there something else that goes in here? Like where we put the bottle? Oh, the sink, that was the other thing. And the sink. So let me talk you through how that's gonna look. This space here is gonna have a small drawer at the top and then cupboards with shelves for like plates and uh, like kettle glasses, stuff like that. This space here is actually where our oven is and then the cooker sits on the top and then we have a big drawer underneath for pots, pans, that type of thing. This back corner here is not incredibly accessible. We are gonna leave this open so that it will be accessible through there but only like through here. Our water tank and cleaning supplies are gonna go in here. Sink here and then we'll probably fit the garbage like in the door here as well as whatever else we can little stack in here under the sink. Fridge here. And then the first drawer that Sean has built is gonna be like cutlery and things like spatulas and spoons and things like that is gonna go there. Uh, our couch, we will have access underneath. So these pieces will open up. We actually, Sean built an extra little shelf here because this is where our shoes are gonna go. And so this little section is gonna be accessible from this side so that when we're outside, we can reach it. And then the rest is gonna be accessible. Like this little section is gonna be accessible from above. How are you feeling about framing so far? Uh, it's going okay. Got still quite a bit left to do. Got the, these to finish up. The ones to put on this side. The sofa to start. And a few more bits on the kitchen. Do you have a, any pro tips for framing? Uh, for anyone who wants to do it in the future? No. <laughs> okay. I'm literally making it up as I'm going along. I came out today at, what, a quarter to three with the challenge from Sean to build my own drawer. It is now 7.18. And I have done it. Yeah, this is my drawer. Sean's not allowed to put anything in it. It's just for me. <laughs> but uh, I think that's enough for today. We'll see you tomorrow. So it's been a couple days since you saw me build my drawer. It's still holding up fabulous, by the way. Um, we haven't worked too much on the van because in the last two days, the van was at the garage because the shock absorber and top mount, is that right? Yeah. On the, on my side here on the left uh, was busted and was like, when you drove, it was like shaking and making a lot of noise. So we brought it to the garage and the garage was wonderful. So today's a pretty busy day. Uh, the goal today is to finish building the kitchen. So what I mean by that is not necessarily sand it down or paint it, but we have to build all the drawers. We've have to build all the cabinet and drawer fronts. We have to build all the slider bits. We have to build the structure itself. There's a lot of components that go to it and we have a lot of bits and pieces that are left. So today, hopefully we will finish building that. Right now we were just waiting for some plywood. We are at a collection point. Uh, I can't remember what the store is called, but we are at a collection point and we are waiting for a two more pieces of plywood and that should be hopefully enough to finish the kitchen. And that is our goal today. All right, we got our plywood. Let's go work. So the first thing we're going to do today is build the face of my drawer. The next 
bit is the tricky bit. Why is that? Attach it. How do you screw it in so that you don't see the screws at the front? From this side. It's magic. Ooh. Ask me to take measure, please. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. The idea is that the screw is only 12 mil and the plywood is what? The screws are 20 mil. Oh. The plywood, each, we're going through two sheets of 12 mil ply, which is 24 for everybody who can do maths. How does it look? Ooh, that looks pretty damn snazzy. I think when we paint it, we're gonna take the faceplate off and glue it on as well. Just give it a bit more of something, something. Okay, so right now we're really focusing, like I said before, on making the cupboard doors and the drawer doors. Those were kind of the things that were left to do in the kitchen unit. It's actually much simpler than I anticipated, and I'm gonna walk you through the steps now. So the first thing that you have to do is measure the space that you want to cover and establish how far in it wants to go, like to the sides and so on and so forth. Then you take that big piece of plywood that we just bought and you put the measurements onto it. Most of them are rectangle shaped, so it's fairly simple. You cut them out, which is what Sean's about to do. I think we're going to hear it with the jigsaw or the circular saw. And then you install it and that includes using the clamps, And then you install it with... And then you install it in place using the clamps, uh, the hinges, and some screws. Pretty simple. <laughs> Bye! Just leave me in my cupboard alone. <laughs> so, the kitchen is as finished as it can be before we sand it down and paint it. Woohoo! Is there anything we have to add? Uh, we've got some stainless steel to go around where the cooker's going. We've got a piece of wood here, but I'm going to put that in at the same time I do the steel. And then, yeah, and then it can get screwed in permanently. Woohoo! We have now moved on to fitting the top of the couch on the one side. The goal of this is for it to raise kind of upwards like that and be on hinges in the corner here because we have shoe storage over here and then here we're going to have like generic, not quite sure what kind of storage, but stuff as well. And obviously we'll have cushions to make it a couch, which is more comfortable. Can you sit on it? Sit on it? Yep. Yeah. Garfield likes to do a daily check of the van to see all the progress we've made. He's clearly noticing the new piece we've just been putting in, making sure it's to his standards. There we go. Here's your noggin. There he goes. <laughs> Hi, Garfield. <laughs> oh, give us the good looks, Garfield. He's like, I like to be in the most inconvenient place as possible. Can I help you? Can I really help you? Yeah, you don't want me to talk about my shoe rack right now at all, do you? Garfield. I'm trying to drill. <laughs> Dangerous. Garfield really wants to be where Sean is working. So this was, used to be one piece. So we've cut the back off. So it gives us a nice smooth surface all the way. And then so when we add the hinge, it will hinge from here and go up like that. But hopefully stay there when we've got hinges. <laughs> so next step is, now I've just screwed this piece in because that's never gonna move again. Next piece is add the hinges. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna put here. I'm thinking maybe three. And then hopefully it should be working beautifully. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright. Cause 
And Sean just put that baton over so it wouldn't be dividing the space super awkwardly. That's so much better. So to finish off the bench cover, we're just going to put two holes in it so that we have somewhere to grip so that it's easier to lift. So Sean is just measuring that right now and then we'll cut it and then it will be easier to lift it. Don't see really satisfying. You see this light color here? Yeah. Watch it disappear. That was so satisfying. So as you can see, we opted for one hole in the middle instead of the giant squares we started tracing out. We just felt it was easier and cleaner. That's where we're gonna leave it for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next week.